The pageantry of the presidential campaign trail descending on Tampa Bay today. Both parties bringing their message to our home to make their case for the White House. Thanks so much for staying up with us on Nightside. I am Ryan Bass. And I'm Carolina Lee. The rallies hitting just eight miles and five hours apart in Tampa. President Trump going first today at Ray J and Joe Biden closing out the day at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Despite more than half of Hillsborough County's votes already cast, both hoping today's event is what lands them the Sunshine State and our 29 electoral votes. Let's not postpone and get out of the rain. God bless you all. Thank you. The rain cutting Joe Biden's rally short at the state fairgrounds tonight as the former vice president tried to rally support in the state one final time before Election Day. Right here in Florida with all of you, you're the ones who built this country. CEOs in Wall Street didn't build this country. You did. His shortened address targeting President Trump's response to COVID-19, health care and his vision to unite the country. Because I know the American people. I know who we are. We have never, ever, ever, ever let the country down, given a chance. On November 3rd, we're going to unite this country and show the world who America really is. Across town, the rain falling from Tampa fire trucks as the heat became too much for some at Raymond James Stadium. The president painted the picture of what his next four years will look like. With the first lady by his side, he promised that will start with an end to the pandemic. They're shutting down, they're locking down. I disagree with that because we're never going to lock down again. We locked down, we understood the disease, and now we're open for business, and that's what it is. This president and his team are focused on not only destroying the virus and building back the economy, they're focused on the creating ways for people to safely stop isolating and start gathering with friends again on a safe distances. He's hoping a victory in his home state of Florida is enough to keep him in the White House. We're in Florida. This is like home. This is home. Right? And the campaign here in Florida not ending today. Biden's VP pick Kamala Harris will be here on Saturday, likely hitting the Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach areas. On the Republican side, Eric Trump will speak with supporters in Jacksonville Beach and Longwood. Those rallies also on Saturday. Then on Sunday, it's Dr. Jill Biden's turn making her way through the state. She'll have events in Tallahassee, Orlando and Tampa as well. Now, every appearance from both sides targeted at getting more voters to the polls because this thing here in our state, it's going to be neck and neck. Historically, our state does run close, none closer, of course, in 2000 when Florida decided the election in the Supreme Court.